Hello everyone, welcome back to another series I will be doing for every Friday. It is a crazy FIFA facts like type of series, so I'll just be putting up five different facts throughout the whole of FIFA in general, um, throughout Ultimate Team, career modes, all stuff like that. But this episode is FIFA Ultimate Team based, like because obviously first episode I wanted to try and be catching so everyone else can come in see what they what it's going to be like and then i'll go more broad about it so let's just get right into it so the first fifa fact i have for you is just that aguero's flashback card in fifa 21 is actually the first card to get downgraded that's a special card since fifa 13 when Melo got downgraded by 17 uh, to a bronze goalkeeper, uh, so obviously must have must have been good in goal. Don't know what he done, but got a bronze team of the week for it in goal. And also Messi got a record breaker for scoring the most goals in one season. He got ninety one goals, so he got a ninety one rated for that like type of like, for that. And then his uh, everything stayed the same as you can see on the left here, and his shooting went to ninety nine. Fact number two is that these three players that like you can see on the screen, Team of the Year Modric, Team of the Season slash awards winner De Bruyne and Team of the Season Nine Golan are the only three cards that have actually had 90 stats on all. Uh, as you can see, 90 pace for Nine Golan, so he scraped it, 90 defender for De Bruyne, so he scraped it, and 90 pace and 90 physical for Modric, so he also scraped it. But them cards are absolutely ridiculous and I packed one of them so comment down below which one you think was packed. Fact number three is that Essien actually still plays professional football he has an icon card only due to the fact that he his team isn't in ultimate team so he plays for someone called Sabail FK which is in Azerbaijan and yeah he's still playing professional football if that team was to be in ultimate team I'm not. I don't think his he he was have an icon card, but still, like, it's quite baffling. Now for fact number four, I don't know if this is due to just EA being stupid or what, but Kante, his last team of the season was in FIFA 17, but in FIFA 18, FIFA 19, and FIFA 20, he got a team of the year with like with in form. So how's he ended up getting? being in the best 11 in the world, but not the best 11 in the league. And for fact number five, the last fact of this episode is that Miura, I think that's how you pronounce his name, he, he is 51 and he is still playing professional football. He is older than 69 out of the 100 icons in the game. Like, that's, that's, that's unreal. <laughs> like, how is he still playing football at 51? And that is the first episode of the craziest FIFA facts for you. Thank you all for watching. The support recently has been unreal. Like, really. 13.6k followers on Instagram. I've had, like, 330,000 likes in, like, in a month. 100 plus people in the Discord already. Like, literally, the support's just been absolutely unreal. So, thank you all. Like, like I said, I'm, bu I'm building a big community and it's... It's, it's working, it's going well better than expected already. So, like I said, I am really appreciated for that. So, thank you. Uh, again, obviously, I'm still I'm trying my best to, you know, get videos out there, do edits, work, college, you know. It's all building up. It, it, it's hard right now. But, you know, we'll get through it. Lockdown's nearly over. But if you obviously you know if any if any of you need anything, my DMs are open on Instagram. I answer all of them. So make sure to just drop a DM or anything. And yeah, thanks for watching and like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.